Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Sunken Land. Today, we are getting to a lot of the end game gear. The best armor, the best weapons, even a gyrocopter, and maybe, hopefully, eventually getting the uh, fastest boat or the newest boat in the game. If you guys are just joining us, click the sub button, hit the notification icon, make sure it is indeed set to always a like on the video before, beginning, after, during, at any point in time, helps the channel tremendously, it's completely free. And of course, hit the notification icon, make sure that is set to always so you're notified whenever the next live stream goes live. There's a playlist link down below. This is probably, more than likely, going to be the second to last Sunken Land stream until some larger updates come out and about. Um, because we're going to be raiding the six northeast islands as well as this one right here. And that should be the remainder of the islands to wipe out every single faction. And then tomorrow we're going to scoot around and explore some of the underwater stuff that we haven't explored yet. But to start off the episode, we are going to build the gyrocopter. I have off stream, off recording, off whatever gone and smelted up all of the iron I could find off of the southern islands and created a bunch of steel. So we have about 15 pieces, um, which is going to obviously, like I said, allow us to build the gyrocopter. But uh, I think I want to build like a pad to land it on maybe. That wouldn't be like such a bad idea. Maybe just like right out here or something like that. Just so, you know, we have something to take off from and we give ourselves the benefit of the doubt when flying it. Because I don't know how it's going to fly. Is it going to be easy? Is it going to be horrible? I don't really know. We've done this entire game so far without dying, which is crazy, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm hoping that we can do this without dying. But to start, we're just going to, like I said, we're just going to build like almost like a helipad right here just very simple a little two by two and then in order to craft the light helicopter i'm just going to call it a gyrocopter we need a six advanced parts a bunch of scrap and 10 components we have all of that there 10 components we should have the scrap just kind of spread out and about maybe was it 30 was 30 and then the six advanced parts which I have put somewhere. Did we have advanced parts? I could have sworn we ended up with six advanced parts. I just, yep, I'm blind. There we go. Builds light helicopter. This thing looks a lot bigger than I anticipated it to be. What in the hell? This thing's actually kind of huge. All right, we got to add fuel. This is why I've been saving fuel specifically for these sky adventures. Um, do we have any water remaining? I've kind of been running low on water quite a bit. We also have enough steel to craft the AK. That's the exact amount we needed. We need 16 for the gyrocopter and the AK. So that's what we have today. I'm probably not going to build the M14 or the M16. It's kind of a waste, IMO. But uh, let's grab some gas. Let's fill this thing up all the way. All 20. It said it had storage. But I'm not seeing storage. Are you seeing storage? Because I'm not. I'm not seeing storage anywhere. It says in the build menu that it has storage, but it might not. It has storage space. I think he forgot to type no storage space. Because all it has is fuel. Okay, it's like slightly inverted. Push down to move forward. Oh, we can actually see a ton, huh? I can't shoot from it. 
which kind of sucks. And it's got no inventory rim. So what is the actual purpose of this besides like going and gathering iron? I don't know. I guess we can go investigate the Northeast Islands with it. But like there's actually no point in building this at all. This was a complete waste of time. Except for the fun, I guess. Because we could have just spent these advanced parts on a rib, which is just a faster boat with more storage. He should just... The dev should just add storage onto everything, IMO. I can't even go into my map while I'm flying it. So I don't even know what I'm investigating. Is this going to unlock? Am I going to be close enough to this? Green Isle. Okay, cool. It is. I guess we can get like a bird's eye view. I think in multiplayer this would be sick because you could just fly above. Right? I believe there are six islands we need to discover. Is this the oil rig? I don't know if this is the oil rig or if this is something different. This looks like the oil rig that we already raided. Maybe it looks a little bigger, maybe? We gotta tilt it forward, tilt it forward, tilt it forward. I'm trying to discover the islands we haven't been to yet, but... I can't check my map. I mean, it goes... It's slower than... Than the basic boat. <laughs> this thing is awful. It's not fast at all. Submerged downtown. So that's another island we gotta hit. It didn't discover that oil rig. I think that's a second oil rig we haven't looted yet. I could land it on the roof of that, but it is, that just sounds like a terrible idea. Look at that. That's like some old uh, nuclear silos or something down there. I'm going to descend a little bit. It also burns fuel. We've already used about a fourth. Even in a nosedive, it's doing only 111 kilometers an hour. Not sure if we already looted this place or not. It's hard to tell. I don't think we did. I don't recognize that lake or pond or whatever that is. Maybe we did, though. I don't even think we discovered, like, anything new at all. We did two islands. I think this one on the right here might be new. Scrap it and make a boat? Really? After all of that work. I think it's only going to give us three back. Unfortunately. Oh, this was totally not worth it. It's cool, though. It's cool to be in the sky. It does seem like it's probably a multiplayer thing, because you could just... If you have a good pilot, you could hover above and just have the, the passenger snipe. And then you just take the boat over to loot, you know? Dreadville. All right, we discovered, like, three places. Let's toot this home. The 10 steel alone was... I mean, jeez. This is what I, I... I was grinding iron off camera probably for a good hour, hour and a half. So, what a waste of time, huh? Three's better than none. All right, let's see if we can land this thing. Now you have the gyrocopter. We're going to build an AK, and then we're going to go raid the remainder, uh, remaining bases that we haven't cleared the map, pretty much. And then tomorrow we're going to do 
a bit of underwater travel. Ugh. Well, we missed the helipad, but we landed it. We used about six liters of fuel off of that. Holy crap. Storage could just not be implemented yet. There's certain vehicles that don't have storage, and I'm just assuming that this is also one of them. <laughs> Because if it had storage, I mean, other ships have storage implemented. I don't see why it would change, you know? So. So we saw... I flew over this one, but it didn't count. But I think we're going to start down here just to clear out the whole bottom of the map. The iron helmet. But let's make the AK real quick. We need lumber, which we've been working on. The last of the steel. And then we need 10 gun parts and the AK. Uh, 10 gun parts and the AK. There we go. It's got a red dot. Not too shabby. Okay. Um, We have some copper. I could make some more rifle ammo. It's probably a good idea. We also have the 50 cal if we feel like making that. I'm not sure if I do feel like making that. All right, so AK, Deagle. Deagle's going to be on four. Then we have heals. Good to go. Throw this in here. Yep. Throw you in there. Yep. Throw you in here. Do we have any strawberries? We do. Strawberries and mushrooms is a stam boost. I have yet to find any red algae yet, by the way. Kind of wild. I'm assuming it's in the deeper parts of the ocean, which we haven't explored yet. That's tomorrow's stream. Today, we want to clear out every single island and wipe the map clean. Pretty much beating the game. At least the above water part of the game. I'll leave both of those on us. I can make another piece of steel, I believe. Can we? Nope. We're one iron short, unfortunately. There's something I can break down for a piece of iron. No. And then we really should make some armor with our next set of steel. So like four steel. Should I be... Should I just break it down? Should we just break it down for the materials? That's my question. We're going to start a poll and we'll go attack one island and then we'll decide. Break down... Down gyro for parts. Yes, no. I'll have you guys vote and we'll go raid an island and I'll let you guys decide. Because I could use that steel to make armor, which would help me raid these islands. But in all honesty, it's a complete waste. Just want to make sure we clear our boat before we head out. I, if I scrap it, I, I still can't make the rib even if we scrap it. That's the problem. Even if we scrap it, I can't make the rib. We still need a lot of iron. And I'm going to do the armor first, probably. I don't know. It depends on how much of a boost the armor actually is, right? Throw that in there. Got a little elephant guy. Pump shotgun. Got a plate. And ammunition, which we can break down, even though I don't really care what comes out of it. That seems like everything. We have so much charcoal, it's obscene. Gatorade. We're going to need to find some water at some point. Let's hop on the boat, hit one island. I'm just assuming that probably we'll take the we'll take the gyro for one more spin after this. Mainly because people joining in are probably going to be curious about it. That was a lot of fuel. True. We'll find more though. 
I'm not too too worried about it. All right, we're gonna hit our first big island. This one's massive. I mean, it's got like satellite dishes on it, a massive fortress. Um, so faction wise, we wiped out the slavers yesterday. There's one more marauder, one more mutant, one more salvation, one more hunter, and two more warheads. Borderline with threats. I mean, headshots are kind of popping me. And I want to say the helmet plus that armor is going to be like 20 armor. Which is like considerably a lot. That's like having a whole nother piece of armor on. Chat, we're going to be live with Starfield after this as well. Once the stream ends, it'll redirect you. We're going the wrong way, huh? Gotta go more this way. We'll be doing a lot of underwater exploring tomorrow. Um, we need to make a bunch of water tanks. Yeah, see, this is the... So this is what we took out yesterday. There's, like, another one right there. They're very similar. And, like, right across from each other. I'll be live on here. It's already scheduled. Uh, Twitch is going to be live streaming the recordings for my new second channel. I was live on Twitch this morning. We're always over there doing fun stuff. We're grinding Demonologist to unlock the new map. And then I think Sunday will be the next Twitch stream. Either Sunday or tomorrow. We're doing a group session on Demonologist on Sunday. I'm excited. Alright, I don't know what to anticipate with this island. Starfield is a single player game. How big is the inventory? Bigger backpack? Right there. Each back e <clears throat> what the hell? Each backpack adds uh one row of inventory. My mic just messed up. Warheads. So this is one of the two warhead tribe islands. Cool. So we'll, everybody will have one island left. Skull and Bones is a beta. The beta's over, and they never invited me to it. So, Skull and Bone content will have to wait until its release in, I think it was October? Well, let's focus on the island now, yeah? Their base is kind of like set back from the shore, so. Okay, well, my anticipations were correct. The AK sucks. Okay, maybe it's not too bad. If I could put it in single fire, it would just be better. Let's look at that ammo that we just used on that one fight. Isn't that insane? I'd rather just like take my pick shots with higher damage.
<laughs> you can cap that guy real quick. There was a guy, so there was a guy up and above. We're good in here. I'm gonna clear this guy real quick. I whiffed, but he's got the reaction time of a dead squirrel, so we're fine. More drinks, nice. Money, good. Shot him, nice. We need to grab food and drinks while we're here for sure. I think the one thing I haven't found yet is the Glock. Like, legitimately. I, have, I found everything besides the Glock. This island also seemed a bit crazier than it's turning out to be. It looks like this giant fortress. It's gonna have, like, 15 guys or something, I believe. But, like, they're not shooting at me, so where are they? You know? Where are you? They're probably indoors on that side. I'm gonna assume. Moccasins? I really enjoyed the high heels personally because it actually makes me taller. Gets me closer to my IRL height. Hand grenade? Can't go wrong there. We're getting clipping. Just throw one of those over there real quick. Killed at least one. I think I got two. One, two. Nice. Oh, I got the guy up there, too? That was a good nade. Not gonna lie, that was a good nade, my dude. Storage on the heli would be cool. You can play at that game, motherfucker. Goodbye. Still says the island's red, so there's still people here.
Whoops. Oh god. Shotgunner? Are you upstairs? I think it's clipping for some reason. And we're good. That was the last guy. Nice. Yeah, that, that guy literally, I think that hand grenade like bounced up and it like suction cup to his butthole or something. It did 8,000 damage. I think really that's the only way that happens. Do we even buy like stuff that makes money or take stuff that makes money anymore? Like realistically, I want the toy plane. That's cute. That thing's ugly. We like we don't need anything from the trader anymore. We're really just kind of running around killing ish now, you know. Well, let's see if we can't find the advanced parts if there is some here, because we still would like to build the rib, especially for tomorrow if we're doing a lot of underwater stuff. We're gonna want to explore the above the water, you know, with a faster boat. Did you guys see a uh, a tool bench anywhere? I don't think I did. Don't need ballistic material? No. We are big chilling on just about everything besides advanced parts and steel at this point. Maybe gasoline, but like, that's... I'll just grab that as I go. Maybe advanced parts. There, might, there just might not be advanced parts here, to be honest with you. I've had some military bases that don't. Actually, the Warhead guys... The Warhead tribe tends to be the ones that don't give advanced parts. Uh, the last, like, three updates have messed up saves, but uh, if you go into betas, you can change your game to older version and opt out of all new updates, which is what I did. So that way I wouldn't lose my save. All right, so we got no workbench there, no workbench here, no workbench. We already hit this, right? I think we already hit everything here. Next step would be let's just jump around the island to look for some iron. Because we need lots of it. A lot, a lot of iron. Is this little baby irons? I found one little baby iron, but I don't know if it was a little baby iron or if the iron node spawned like under the ground. So about like one of these rocks will give you make you one steel. Sometimes a little more. So like six ore off of that. That is one and one fifth steel. We need how much steel for the rib? Eight. And then on top of that, we need steel for the armor. But based on that whole interaction there, do we need the armor? No. Do I want the armor? Yes. But I think that actually gets us to two steel because we had uh, we had four iron ingots already smelted. So that's perfect. That gets us two steel. Two steel and we cleared the Warhead Tribe Island. So they only own one island, but it has 19 people on it. There's a Salvation Clan with 20 on it. That's insane. That's going to be a big old island. That's going to be a big old island. And the AK sucks. The recoil is terrible. Um, damage is just not good enough. I'd rather use the shotgun close range. I anticipated that, though. It seems like the medium tier stuff is better than the high tier stuff. The gyrocopter doesn't have inventory room. My markers aren't showing up at long distance unless I look to the side. You see that? Isn't that weird?
be cool if the trader sold steel or restocked or changed or was completely random. That'd be kind of cool. God, I wish the gyrocopter was useful. I wish you could set it to like hover, switch seats, and then shoot from it. Scrap the AK and the gyro? God dang. I just spent all that time crafting it. I haven't even got to mess with them yet. The AK might be good if we walk into a room with like two or three people in it. It's a good like spray and pray panic, it feels like. Like, 55 damage is pretty good. I appreciate it, Victoria. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dewey. What do you want, Bubby? Parking at. What are we barking at, do we? You're dirty. You guys need baths. Just like pet his head and I have dust on my hand. It's so fucking dusty outside from the hot air. No grass is growing at all. It's just dust. I mean, we're at like a 66% on the scrap the chopper, so. But like also part of me wants to keep it so I could just nosedive it right into an island to end off the series, you know? That sounds kind of nice. Okay, boop, bop, beep. Nope, we need those. Put that there. Put, you know, we need that. Uh, keep the pistol ammo. I think we're going to be rocking pistol ammo quite a bit today because we're going to run low on all our other ammos. I'm going to stop picking up stuff to sell. Gasoline. We'll just put that in our boat. Why not? Hand grenades are useful. Put the wood away. And we're kind of just waiting for one iron to smelt so I could pop it in this just to get the steel going. There's 19 armor for the helmet. That's a 6 upgrade. 28 for the chest piece. So I think we go chest piece first. There's only 4 steel. We could get that going like sooner rather than later. There's the iron. Nice. And then we just grab a raw piece real quick. Got our inventory organizing has gotten worse with time. We're getting lazy. The overflow became the main bin and the main bin became the overflow. And what can you do? There we go. Okay, shotgun right there. Drink, eat. What time is it? 1700. We shouldn't go out because it's just going to get dark as heck and impossible to see any enemies. So next we hit Dreadville, whatever the heck that is. Then Green Isle. Then this guy. We're pretty much going to try to clear all six of these tomorrow. Santiago, thank you for the 10 spot. I appreciate it. Imagine if everybody gave $10, I'd have like a bajillion dollars. Isn't that crazy? Appreciate it, man. We're just waiting for night time. It should let me sleep any minute now. Did that iron schmelt? It's almost done. There's all this wood. Let's just fill these up a little bit. Just keep them rocking and rolling, you know? There's the iron piece. Nice. So we'll have five iron for another piece of steel. What I'd like to do is wait for this... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, like, I, what I'd like to do is wait for this steel to finish and then uh, we'd put the iron in there and we sleep and the steel will insta finish that puts us at one steel right now we need what four for the spetnaz armor because 28 from 16 that's a plus 12 the helmet seems hardly worth it for six 
But if it specifically works, like if it shoots me in the head, am I going to get less damage? If it works that way, then it might be well worth it. If it doesn't, it's a complete waste. Can I sleep, please? Thank you. Two steel. I can't make any more. Eat, drink. I haven't been attacked in a while. I wonder if relogging resets your attack timer because I like logged in, logged out, did like 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there this morning. But it's time to head out. Add extra fuel. We are going to Dreadville. I don't know what Dreadville is going to be like. Dreadville might be dreadful. So any island at this point that we clear is going to be the final island of one of the factions. So literally, these six islands are the final six islands. Each one will be the, the elimination of a different faction. We head out at night so they don't see us coming. Hardly anybody left to raid your base. Does that actually eliminate a number from a faction? Like if five mutants attack me, I kill five, will it remove five mutants from an island? Or is it like loaded and generated? I'm curious. Oh God, this place has some high ground and not a lot of cover. Unless something's not loading in. This looks terrible. But it also looks great for me because I should be able to just Tap away at these idiots. That's one dead. Two dead. I don't know who owns this island. That's three dead. dead. Wow, we're popping them today. There's some iron. <clears throat> Quite a bit of iron here. Actually. Oh my god, like a lot. Am I seeing that right? One, two, three. Clifton Outpost. Oh, we didn't even go to... That's the dread place. This is a different one. Who owns the Clifton Outpost? The Hunters Union. Huh. Okay. This is the final of the Hunters Union. Their main outpost, the motel. Putting up a fight. They do not want me to take their final island. Wow, that guy's an aimer. I'm going to keep this here for now. I do not want to lose this boat. Rickstar, thank you for the 10 gifted, man. Appreciate it. 
Chat, if you get gifted a membership, join the Discord. Discord.gg slash royal in your browser. We do community servers, community nights. We're adding new emotes. As well for members on YouTube and on Twitch. Discounts on art, like a whole bunch of stuff for being a member. I think we're going to get out and start thwapping people now. I think this guy over here is still alive. Someone right next to me still alive. They really like bushes. I guess they are hunters, right? Ooh, cotton. Do we need that for new armor? Because that's just a, like a cheap armor that we could build that's slightly better than ours. But we're going for the Spetnaz anyway, right? So screw it. What are we looking at? Hunters. There's still five people up there. Still five dudes on this tiny area. I'm going to hit a food, probably. A couple of foods. Just get our HP max before we climb that ladder. All right, I think everybody down here is gone. So it's time to start climbing. I don't think I'm going... I'm going to try to dig this as much. We have so much deagle ammo. Or shotgun. Where's my shotgun? Shotgun's quite nice. Close range shotgun. Ouchie. There's like one dude on here somewhere. One more. These goddamn roof campers. No respect these days. Ooh, knee-high boots? And their heels? Sure. Don't mind if I do. I'm looking saucy, my dude. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Goodbye. All right, the hunters are no more. The hunters have been eliminated. Officially gone, wiped clean off the map, no longer with us. Get some F in the chat for the hunters. Oh! That's actually extremely nice, and the first time I feel like I've found raw, like, smelt, fully smelted ingot in any place, ever. That's a bunch of rifle ammo that we need. Since I used all of it in my dumb AK that I hate. Thank you again, Rick. You're always here. You're always chilling. You've been watching forever. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you. People like you keep me going. Extra hand grenade. All right. Ow. 
So I think I'm gonna scoot home and make a little bit more rifle ammo. Um, five smelted iron is a steel, right? Not a steel as in a steel. It's a piece of steel. But I'm seeing a lot of iron around on this island, so let me be relatively productive. We have 10 hand grenades. That Those are going to come in handy. <laughs> okay, I'm storing the AK. This thing's ass. I'm going to put one in there just to save on space. And let's go smack some rocks real quick. I think uh, off of this, we should be able to build the Spetnaz armor. Maybe we go do one more island, because it's, it's 10 a.m. It's 10 a.m. So we should use most of our daylight and just go back and do steel and crafting and depoting at night, right? It might lead me to having to assault an island uh, by foot. But honestly, you guys probably want to see me do that anyway. Yeah, I dropped stuff. Quite literally, we only need iron, gas. Iron, gas, and ammo. We literally don't need anything else. All this excess stuff I'm grabbing, like wood is just for smelting, so like we can grab some wood. I don't need scrap for anything. I believe that's all of the iron. Yep. Good amount here. It's pretty nice to have. Okay, so now we're just gonna scoot uh, to that island right there. That's another question mark island. Or we go to that island right there. That one looks crazier. Let's go do that one. Actually, we probably shouldn't do the crazier one. We should probably save the crazier one. For when we have more rifle ammo. Let's go to the close one and we'll hit that other one on the way back to our base. That's probably best. Look how big that island is. Power plant. Some hammerheads. Chat, if we could hit the like button. And remember to subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification icon. Make sure it's at the always. So you're notified whenever live streams go live you want to be here when gifted subs come on coming because if you're not here you can't get them thanks for jumping in today chat let's go take down whatever Are we doing dreadville let's do green isle then dreadville dreadville looks spooky green isle is owned by the salvation clan so this is the final salvation clan island This is all they own. And it looks like there's going to be 20 enemies on this island. Lagging a little bit. Jesus, this guy has no armor and he's tanking. Salvation Clan is like a, a lower tier group. I think it's going to be mostly pistols and low armor and nothing fully automatic, I don't think. So let's just, let's get a little personal here. Let's get a little personal here, yeah? This is not the hardest island. No, no, no. Um, not really certain what the hardest island is going to be. I mean, so far it was the, 
the island with the bunker, like the hangers, but that's just because we were under geared. I was running that with the quad shot pistol. That thing was booty compared to what we have now. So. I guess I'll have to find out what the hardest island is. I want to say this has the most people on it. But as you can tell, they're just kind of like... They're just kind of like spearmen. Like their guards literally... Like, look at this guy. Hardest island? I don't think so. Not to say they can't kill me. But definitely not the hardest island. The warheads were pretty difficult. I haven't wiped their main base out yet. These are. This is probably going to be the strongest. I have so much pistol ammo, I literally can just spam this thing. How do we get up? Do I have to go in? I don't want to just go in. That seems dangerous. Let's clear the outskirts fully first. I'm gonna aim a little high on the headshots with the deagle. Eagle headshot does 210, so. You can just about one tap everybody in here. There's a few ways to sneak in, it looks like. Yeah, that's better. But we can't go underneath this stuff. The game has clipping issues. Oh no. What in the, what in the fuck did I just do? We got to be careful. I don't want to get stuck somewhere and have to re-log. Next series with the boys, Darkness Falls. Um, we're still working on Icarus. Icarus is going to be like an on, -off, on and off thing. Probably like three or four times a week, max. Um, I think the hardest grind in Icarus is past us now, though. Pretty sure we just need to grind a little bit more, build the satellite thing, and then... The rest of it's just like exploring and fighting and stuff, which is pretty fun. I have hand grenades. It's a bit overkill versus these guys, but... Could be fun. Hey, look at that. The advanced parts we're looking for. got two of them. Not bad. Some more diving pills for tomorrow. A safe. Let's see. Icarus has a lot more to do, but a lot more grinding. This game has a lot to do, but... Not as much, not as much playtime in this game. I mean, for me, it's like 14 hours to beat probably this game. It's going to be about 14 or 15 to clear every island and explore what I want to explore. Obviously, I haven't crafted everything. Um, but something like Icarus, you'll get a lot more hours out of. There's still people here. A 
sneaky little spot, my dude. There's still people here. God damn. Let's hit a food before we get headshot and we're instantly dead. I haven't died yet, so. And I'm not trying to. So many pistol bullets. Yeah, it's really what you're looking for, like, bang for your buck style. Because, I mean, not everybody can buy, like, 20 games a year. Like I do, you know? If I had to pick one game, this or Icarus, I would choose Icarus. This game is better, but won't give you as much content. That's all. Ski Mask B? Oh, heck yeah. That's sick. Bobo, why are you crying? Come here. Oh. What's the matter, Bobby? Poor Bo's crying. What? You just want attention? Come lay on my feet. I'll give you some pets. Who the heck is left on this island? Where is he? Oh, wait, is it dead? I don't know. Is this? No, this is salvation. There's one dude. Where do you think he is? Little sneaky rat. He's on the outskirts or something? Where do you think you're going, bud? And now, can we get an F in the chat for the Salvation Clan? They are no longer with us. They have been conquered. They are no more. 1700, let's scoot home, depot, craft some uh, steel. Make that Spetnaz armor so we're a little stronger. We can tank a bit more. You get to like the, hit the like button, chat. Be much appreciated. Getting low on lemonade. got to do this crazy place tomorrow. I'm going to make rifle ammo out of the copper we found. Make steel out of the iron we found. You want to use the speedboat exploit? I don't use any exploits. I like to play the game as intended so the developers can watch and get ideas and... Things like that. Playing it as intended. Plus the downtime on the boat driving and stuff allows me to talk to you guys, so. a little whiny baby, my dude. No, puppy. He is just whining. What's wrong? Steel going. It's not sleep time yet. We got two advanced parts. Nice. Um... 
copper ammunition. And then we can throw our pills in there. Making more rifle ammo. We always need more of that. Diamond. We got another colorful rug. I put this outside on my rock. I think I just placed it on accident. Did it go on my roof? I don't even know. I am excited for Nightingale. Is it a survival game? I'm excited for it. So much shotgun ammo. If I break if I break down the shotgun ammo, is it gonna give me copper? Let's let's test it. Oh, we're getting attacked. Ow. Who's attacking me anyway? These guys always come with crossbows and bullshit pistols. And we're steel reinforced now, so there's really nothing they can do. Neo, Neo attacked my island. It was roof camping me, man. What the hell? We got the steel in, now we sleep. We're being optimized, eat, drink, and more steel, and then we grab what we have. We got four steel. Uh, military vest, is that the Spetnaz armor? Oh, I have it on me. Okay. We just grab military fibres and a bunch of cloth. We go boop. Spetnaz armor. I it crafted two of them. Okay. I mean cool, I guess. I think I bugged it. Huh. If they had durability, that'd be nice, but they don't. Look at this armor though. Pretty cool. It gave us scrap, smokeless powder, and components. So it didn't give us it did. I didn't have this one copper before, did I? I think I did. Because we got five copper and it's two to make a rifle ammo. Okay. Let me just work on a bit more steel, so hopefully we can make the rib tomorrow. I think I have iron in my boat. So many hand grenades. I'm probably going to need it for the next island, to be honest with you. Get some copper smelting. I don't think we're going to be able to raid every single island today. I mean, maybe. We might be able to just do the last three right now. And then we'll scrap the gyrocopter tomorrow, probably, for components for the rib. Are we scrapping the AK? Yay or nay? This thing is booty hole. I'm curious how much it's going to give us back. But it's really bad. Starfield stream is already scheduled, my guy. Streaming Starfield right after this. That's when it releases in my time zone.
by scrapping it. Forty-two damage. The spare armor won't give me steel. This is the first steel armor I've made. It might give me iron, which I could craft down in the steel. Screw it, AK's gone. Absolute doo-doo cheese, horrible weapon. Sad that I built it. Truly. Okay. We'll grab the scrap later. We're in limited time and I'd really like to eliminate all the islands today. Because I want to play Starfield on release. That's for certain. Chad, hit the like button. Thanks for hanging out today. I think just about everybody's looking forward to Starfield at this point. I definitely am. Drink your water, chat. Stay hydrated. We're going to Dreadville. Trying to stay awake. The VOD will be up after, man. You can watch it in the morning. Get a good night's sleep. Wake up Friday morning. Grab a coffee. Watch the stream. Pretty pog. It's not playable until 7 central. Anybody you're seeing streaming it right now got a code from Bethesda. I'm not cool enough to get the code from Bethesda. Although I did get Fallout 4 one day early. I remember that. That was cool. And I think it was Black Ops 3, I remember. I bought Black Ops 3 like two weeks early off of Craigslist. I got Ark one day early. I remember that. That was before Ark was even, like, cool. So this is the Marauders, the final Marauders base. Looks like there's 11 enemies. That's not even that bad, to be honest with you. We already killed, like, four, so it was about 15. Quite the fortress, though. some meleeers. These guys are noobs, so this is definitely not going to be the hardest island. I'm jumping off here. We're going in. It's time to rock and row. That guy tanked. There's like one or two left on here. That guy's no longer with us. Neither is that guy. They're still alive. I'm checking the map rapidly because it tells me if it's no longer red, that means I've killed everybody. Having a little party in here without me, dude? Oh, they were holding out. They had pudding and stuff for their party and everything. Advanced parts. Yay. 
Please, 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 please. More than two. More than two. Sad. Only two. Can I swan dive off of this base? So these guys were pretty mediocre. Nothing insane in the membrane. Nothing down here. All right. Well, now get some Fs in the chat for the Marauders. They no longer are with us. All we have is the the Warheads and the Mutants. Nobody else. Just on the other side of this island is the next island. I'm curious. I, I'm assuming the giant tower over there is going to be the warheads. That's what I'm assuming. But who knows? It could be. It could be this. Uh, this thing over here. Because I'm curious. Also, maybe no. You know what? That island with the towers is probably going to be the mutants. This is going to be the warheads. This should statistically be the hardest island in the game. Unless we already hit the hardest Marauder Island, or uh, Warhead Island, that is. But this is owned by the Warheads. Headshot. This has 20 people on it. This small island. It's because the Warheads actually have AKs and shotguns and bolt action. So if you get headshot, you can, I mean, they could do about 30% of my health right now with one headshot, probably. If you just get two back-to-pack AK headshots, like, you could die. Also gotta be careful of our boat here. boat is oh yeah 372 I almost took out my boat here comes the heroes ooh I just headshot that shit out of that guy oh please don't crash good I'm still in game special offers open uh oh nope we crashed no bueno chat let's see how far it's gonna roll us back that's the first time I've crashed so all things considered could be worse Unlucky. Not bad, though. First crash. We are... Oh, God. We gotta murder the Marauders again.
Where is this guy? Is that it? No. Remember there was some dudes having a party in this shack. Are they still partying? Yep. Alright, food. I was empty this time, Sag. Maybe this will generate more than two this time? Let's see. And three! Pog! Haha, <laughs> worth! Um, where's that green? So there was a green crate up here as well. Did I already, did I get this one last time? I think I did. Yeah, this is the one that had some hand grenades and stuff in it. And now he's, they're, they're dead again. They have perished yet again. Now let's drive over again to the Warhead tribe. F 2.0. Warhead tribe oil rig. Probably going to do that. We're going to have to repair our boat quite a bit. Worst survival game I've ever played? I did a series where I played a bunch of the worst survival games ever. But I really disliked its subsistence. But I feel like I'd rather play subsistence over some of the games I played in that series, the, the worst survival game series. So I can't say it's the worst. It's just not great. Question is, Chad, I think what I'm going to do real quick, just so in case it's this island, in case it's this island that's causing the crashing, I'm going to save and quit right here. There are two islands remaining, yes. So that way, if it crashes again, we'll be right here. Right on the outskirts of the island. Because there's no save button. There's literally only a save and quit, so. We have 40 minutes to clear two islands. Can we do it? Mist was bad. There was a really bad update for Mist, and then they released a new update recently with like a whole new map and stuff, and we we had fun playing it. The AI is just really bad. If they just get the uh, the mist creatures, the mutants AI down, they have an excellent game. Like if there's actual base building mechanics and traps and things like that, similar to Seven Days to Die. This is bad. 23 HP. They're still tapping at me. I almost lost my boat there. We might be better off on foot. This place is just so stacked. Just go in and run left.
go check out my back catalog. You found me through this game. Good luck, brother. We got 5,400 videos over the last 11 years. They really don't like the rubber ducky. Quite a few of them are stacked right here. Look at this. These are the guys, guys that were absolutely beaming me when I walked in. Killed four with one grenade. I think these guys are trying to shoot me through the floor. We've had this problem before with a few enemy types. Usually it's the shotgunners. Two more advanced parts. <laughs> we need 10 for the boat, so. have a million subs we are working on it we're getting there maybe eventually i just like playing video games that's why we're here when did i win second in the dark tournament Sorrel the fittest uh, 2016? 2017? Huh. Is that gonna reach? Nope. Okay, so here lies the problem. This is just a big freaking ladder to get up into a guy with a shotgun and a guy with an SMG. Okay, Warhead Tribe eliminated. F in the chat. Thank you. Not bad. That was definitely the hardest island in the game. Now, it's Pee Wee League time. 16 mutants. I was going to make the jump, but that just seems like a terrible idea. I'm going to fall off of this ladder. Okay. Imagine our only death in this whole game is falling off of a freaking ladder. There was three sets of advanced parts here. It'll be 11 years in April next year. So like 10 and a half years. It's year 11, essentially. We still haven't found a Glock. There's a bunker door on this thing. We're sitting on nine advanced parts. We only need ten for the boat. I don't know if I have one at home. But we'll probably find some doing some underwater tomorrow. Because we have the sunken ship, the iceberg, and the ferris wheel are three of the spots I want to check out. We haven't faced a hammerhead yet. And like I said, I think there's like a caiman of some kind. Yeah, let's go murder the Pee Wee League. 
So the mutants are literally like the the basic enemy of the game, like melee. Uh, I don't even think they have crossbows. Unless this is like the mutant island and all of a sudden I'm going to have some big giant mutant boss running at me. I doubt it, but you never know. Yes, yeah, Survival of the Fittest, the tournament, was my uh, most viewers I've ever had on one stream ever. I had uh, 27,000 viewers in that stream. So this is the Mutants Island, but that guy had a gun. What will I do for a million subs? I will turn on my stream. And I will play video games. As I always do, as I always have done, and always will continue to do. The crazy island, though. This is massive. I don't want to get on the roof of this house. Oh, can't use that ladder. Cool. This island's going to be more of a hunt than a fight. I'm just trying to find everybody on it. We are fighting uh, sub-loss every day, though. Actually, since we started playing Sunken Land, is the first time in probably about a year we've gained subscribers. Every time I turn on a stream, upload a video, put up a short, I actually lose about 50 subscribers. What is the clipping? Eleven enemies left on this island. This island's huge. This would be a really cool build spot. I just lose subs because of inactive accounts. My uh, my channel's so old that like people that subscribed seven, eight years ago have either that motherfuckers I'm gonna give you guys some gamma real quick gonna get a little dark here but I don't want to drive back just to come back here and kill three people you know 
yeah, people that subbed like seven, eight years ago or whatever, either make new YouTube accounts or stop using them. And I think after like a year of not logging in, YouTube unsubs you and removes you. And I think you can like reactivate your account and the sub will come back, but obviously most people don't. These mutants are packing. I thought this was going to be the Pee Wee League Island. I mean, it's nothing compared to the last one, but I turned that corner into three of them and that hurt. There's so many just corners and bushes and stuff for them to hide behind and in and around and on and... guy got me to half that's how dangerous those freaking shotguns close range are even with good armor i got an ak Appreciate it, Nick. Welcome back. Yeah, so that's another part, too. The When you're losing subs, your videos don't get recommended as much because YouTube thinks... You know, it's all statistics and analytics for YouTube to recommend your videos. So if you're not gaining subs and you're not... You know... If your channel's not actively growing... It tends to even not send out videos and subscriptions and live streams and things to people that, uh, even if they are subbed. So, essentially, YouTube has built an algorithm around slowly but surely phasing out old channels. But I, the stubborn one, push on. How many are left? Four? I think this guy has a shotgun, so let's just nade him. He's dead. Three people left on the island. But I can't see shit. Where are they? I think I gotta let Bo out too. He's crying like he's gotta go poo. Come here, Bo. They gotta be like up in the trees or something, right? The final guys, like up in the wilderness or something. I have one sniper bullet left. Is it 2100? I'll let you out in one second, Bubby. This island's so Big? How am I ever going to find the last three? I think they have to be in the town, maybe. Maybe in this section. I also play a bit of variety, which doesn't help. You stick to one game or one genre. I mean, I tend to stick to survival, but we jump around quite a bit. 
in a lot of subscribers off of like arc pvp and then we kind of just stopped playing pvp so there's a bunch of reasons i can't see anything no but we'll be fine he's a he's an old man he is potty trained plus my back door is very far away and I was just going to kill these guys, get off, and then play Starfield anyway. So I want to just kill these last. She says, uh, there was a guy in this container. Two more. Where are you? It's so dark. Can I make a bed and just sleep? Last two people in the entire game. Where are they? I'm freezing, so my stats are going down. On the roof of this? Is it two or one? Yeah, it's two. It's about to be morning, and then we'll have a better idea of where to look. Is that the container we just killed the guy in? I don't think so. Maybe we check that container then. I don't want to fall off of this and die. I think there's one by the bus. I'll check. Check the bus, then that container. Nobody in the bus. Under the house? Nope. Hello, random person in the field. And in the container, last but not least, this is the other container we already killed the guy in. on the second floor here. One more. One more person in the entire game. And he is somewhere on this island. Welcome to Hide and Seek, Sunken Land Edition. on the outskirts of this. The 
the king of hide and seek, apparently. I'm beginning to believe he's not in the city, but... I feel like... He is, and he just got one shot. Zero, 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 zero. Fireworks! Yay! What did he have? The hand grenade I just threw. F in the chat for every single human being in this game. I've killed every single one. I can now run around naked. That is it. We've accomplished the game. Tomorrow will be the final episode chat where we go swim around, check out the rest of the underwater in this game. But past that, we're going to be live on Starfield in 14 minutes. Once I end this stream, you will redirect over there so you don't have to do anything if you're super lazy or you can just go to my channel and you'll see it and click on it. Hit the sub button notification icon. Make sure it's set to always so you're notified whenever we go live. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Hit the like button before you head on out. Again, I will see you in about 15 minutes on Starfield.